Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, January 5th, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. In Diaries today, Jan did sort of well a year in review. He looked at his uh, last year's quarantine email inbox and essentially picked a random interesting looking sample and is sort of walking us through the different obfuscation techniques used in this particular sample. Turned out it started out all as an email with a well suspicious attachment which was a RAR compressed file. Once decompressed well it turned into a .bat file. Actually had two extensions .pdf .bat probably to sort of trick the unsuspecting user into opening the file, which would then of course launch PowerShell. And after downloading additional malware, deobfuscating it, decoding it, injecting DLLs and all the other good stuff, we end up with a good old info stealer. So overall, a real neat sort of summary of uh, current evasion techniques, while none of them is uh, particularly sophisticated or difficult to analyze, just uh, getting the entire sequence uh, straightened out and getting all the parts can be quite complex. And Citrix released a fix for the DTLS vulnerability that has recently been abused uh, for a distributed denial of service attacks. So this uh, was not really an attack against the Citrix server. Instead, the Citrix server was used as an amplifier and due to all the traffic this generated, this actually sometimes then resulted in a denial of service against uh, this uh, Citrix server, even though that was probably unintentional. So DTLS is really a TLS over UDP and UDP of course is easily spoofed and often abused for this type of denial of service attacks. But uh, the specification actually takes that into account. It's just Citrix's implementation that was at fault here. The first thing the client sends to a server is just like in normal uh, TLS, a client hello, basically just saying, I want to talk TLS to you. The server is supposed to respond with a hello verify request. This is a short response that does not lend itself to any substantial amplification. And it just includes a cookie that then the sender has to respond to in order to basically verify that the request was not spoofed. But this is what went wrong here with Citrix's implementation. It did not actually do this part of the handshake or at least not uh, verified. And it would then respond immediately with the server hello and the certificate and that led to this very large, I believe it was a factor of about 30 amplification that was then used in these denial of service attacks. So if you're using DTLS with Citrix, then definitely apply uh, this update. And uh, yes, you're more protecting others than yourself. But uh, if you are being used as an amplifier, even if it doesn't cause a denial of service on your system, it still uh, probably decreases performance. And in addition to applying the update, you also need to enable the hello verify request. So follow Citrix's guidance in how to do this. And then we got for a change a deserialization vulnerability in PHP or more accurately in the Scent Framework 3.0.0. The Scent framework is more recently been known as Laminas and the bug was found by security researcher Ling Wei Zhou. The root cause here is that the stream class in Scent, uh, which uh, is commonly used uh, to access files, uses in its destructor where it deletes the file uh, to string methods. So if you're not passing the file name as a string, if you're passing it as another object, it will try to convert this into a string, blindly calling the to string function of that particular class, which of course may then be used 
used to execute arbitrary code. And that's exactly what was demonstrated here. So while uh, this particular vulnerability was demonstrated in the Send framework, uh, the Laminas project does include the vulnerable code as well. And you do want uh, to update this. Now, this does not affect every single uh, PHP website. This requires that you're using the Send framework, even though it is uh, somewhat uh, popular for PHP projects. Well, and this is it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.